Hi everyone, in this video, I would like to talk about one of the important skills that we need to have to work in Citrix environment or in any IT environment, which is soft skills. So, so far in my YouTube channel, I have uploaded a lot of videos related to Citrix and app, Zen desktop, Netscaler or any other Citrix related topic. But so far, I haven't really you know, spoken about soft skills. I haven't really spoken about soft skills. So before I speak about soft skills, I would like to talk about technical skills or hard skills. So for us, if you want to work in any IT environment, we would like to, let's say if you want to learn Citrix, if you want to work on Citrix products, we want to, you know, we would like to know, first of all, what is this Citrix about and how to, uh, how things work in Citrix environment and how to troubleshoot issues, all these things. These are really important to solve issues or to troubleshoot issues or to get the work done but at the end of the day in any business you need to communicate with people not with machines okay you need to communicate with people whether it could be your colleagues or your managers or uh, it could it could be your partners or vendors or clients or whoever it is you need to communicate with people so soft skills are really really important to communicate well with people and also to make uh, you know to keep things under control to keep things under control so if you uh, i see this article on monster.com they have mentioned soft skills to help your career hit the big time so if you want to get a promotion or high paying job soft skills are also really 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 important so they have mentioned you've got a reputation for being the best coder or editor or mechanic or whatever but it amounts to little if you don't work well with others so the first line says it doesn't matter whether you are you know an expert on citrix or vmware or microsoft products but if you don't if we if you don't know how to communicate with people okay okay if you don't know uh, if you if you don't know how to work well with others then it is of no use okay so that's why soft skills are really really important so what are soft skills unlike hard skills which can be proven and measured soft skills are intangible and difficult to quantify some examples of soft skills include analytical thinking verbal and written communication and leadership okay so how to communicate with others is really really important at the same time it, it's not only over the call you know 50% of the business communication or 60% of the business communication happen over emails okay happen over email so we should know how to write well and how to speak well and how to have good leadership qualities and also we should know how to have good analytical thinking skills okay so let me scroll down let me scroll down so what are some examples of the soft skills the very first thing is communication skills communication skills is like how to communicate with others whether it is through written communication or verbal communication verbal communication because if you speak well if you write well it means that you know let's say if some some customer comes up to you and says hey i have this problem but if you understand their problem and if you respond to them nicely then they then they feel that okay this person has really understood my problem okay this person really you know understood my issue so you are communicating well with the people and you are building that rapport or the connection with the people in any citrix environment or any it environment so it is really really important communication skills teamwork teamwork means uh, let's say let's say there is one person okay this person is very good with citrix technology or any other technology but at the end of the day if you're not working as a team if you're not working as a team then you know it can create some kind of problems in any citrix environment or any it environment so the teamwork needs to be there so that is also uh, a good soft skill okay so i think we have discussed about uh, problem solving in one of my previous videos but i would like to say see problem solving what you need to do when something goes wrong you can either complain or take action so let's say something is let's say there is a priority one issue in the citrix environment and uh, you know you can you know you, you can complain about it okay there is some p1 issue i don't know how to solve it i don't know how to solve it instead of that if you can take the initiative and if you can speak to people and if you can try to you know get more information and if you can solve it then you are a better problem solver you are not complaining you are actually taking action to solve the problems okay so when when something goes wrong you can either complain or take action tip it is the later that will get you notice knowing how to think on your feet can make you indispensable to an employer okay so 
if you can do it by yourself you can do it by yourself you can if you are the first person to take step forward to troubleshoot issues or solve problems then employees will notice you why employees look at it no, nothing is a given companies rely on problem solvers also known as their top performers to navigate unexpected challenges so let's say in the middle of the night let's say uh, 1 am in the morning okay let's say you're working during that time and if something is broken if you say that okay i you know this is uh, uh, this issue came in the night time and i'm the only person i cannot work then it is not the right response instead if you think like okay doesn't matter i'm the only person working and i know my environment okay let me handle it and if you take that initiative and if you can solve it then you are a better problem solver okay and also critical observation this is another skill under soft skills why you need it data doesn't mean much if you don't know how to interpret it is there a pattern emerging what else should you be looking for being a critical observer can help make you better worker all around so critical observation so if the let's say if the issue is happening every day at 10 am in the morning okay let's say machines are uh, you know get going machines are Uh, um, let's say there is some slowness issue or machines are getting unregistered or whatever it is and if you observe it if you observe it okay why is it happening at 10 am in the morning or 10:30 in the am in the morning what is happening and if you can observe it and if you can try to solve it if you can try to solve it that that is really helpful you know to avoid any major issues in citrix environment or any it environment so this is just an example and the other skill is conflict resolution conflict resolution so if you really know how to work well within the team and if you know how to communicate with others during any difficult situations or tough situations you know when there is a time of conflict and when there is a time of conflict if you stay calm and if you know how to deal with people nicely then that is also a great soft skill and leadership skills leadership skills as the name says you know if you have better you know uh, leadership skills and how to you know influence people and how to uh, motivate people and how to take things in a better way so that everybody is you know good and everybody is happy in any citrix environment so why employees want it bosses and managers are always looking for employees with leadership potential because those workers will one day be taking over the reins and building on the company's legacy because uh, they need the people with these skills because at some point in time you will move up the ladder and you have to become a leader and you need to take care of people or business so the employees really admire people who have leadership skills okay so these are some things that uh, we need to really have to be a better team player to to get a better job or better pay in any technical environment or citrix environment this these skills can be learned actually this these 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 skills can be learned so i will probably make more videos on this topic or i'll probably make a create a course or whatever but yes i would like to you know talk about this today because whenever people come to me they say okay uh, naresh how to learn this uh, you know citrix product but no one asks me like how how can we learn soft skills and these skills are also really really important at the end of the day if you if you get a job if you work in any citrix environment or any vmware or microsoft any other pro, aws or google whatever it is at the end of the day you're going to deal with people for the rest of your life so let's say i'll give you one simple example okay so let's say if you want let's say you join some company and you, you need to support vmware horizon okay but you haven't really worked on vmware horizon but if you have some soft skills if you know how to talk to people and how to get the work done then you can take things forward okay soft skill is something once you learn it once you learn it it will be with you for the rest of your life okay let's say you have spent one year time on learning good soft skills these soft skills will be will be with you for the rest of your life but hard skills are not like that let's say today you're working on citrix virtual apps and desktops maybe next year or two years later you want to move to a, you want to switch to a different technology it could be devops or aws cloud or whatever it is now these if these softs these citrix skills will not be useful there because that is different that is google cloud or aws but when it comes to soft skills you can use the same soft skills for the rest of your life so soft skills will come with you when you when you move forward in your you know it career or neither career but when it comes to hard skills it is like you need to keep learning each and every year when the, when the technology changes you need to learn again so that's why focus on soft skills because it will be with you for the rest of your life and it can really help you to get a better pay or better job or better role in any organization
okay i really hope you find this information helpful if you like this video please like and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching i will catch you in the next video bye bye